All right, now the second pedal I'm going to show today, or the third pedal, I guess, is the Ballroom Boost. Now, these all have different decals on them. This is just your basic boost pedal. It's kind of like an LPB-1. Some of mine are more overpowered than an LPB-1, but we're going to hear what this sounds like. It's just It just makes your guitar louder, and I feel like it... It kind of accentuates certain frequencies. Um, I like running it at full max and just kind of kicking my my two vamp in the face. I kind of like that sound. So we're gonna we're gonna go through some of that. Okay, uh, this is the ballroom boost pedal. We're gonna hear what this baby sounds like. They they all look different. They all have different decals on them, and uh, it's just a one knobber. So we're gonna hear the ballroom boost. So let's start off with our clean channel. Boost is on. So let's do it at the midway point. So, it, it, I like using it to overdrive my amp. Let's play some more through it with it all the way up. We're just going to give you a nice little comparison. No boost. Boost is going to be on. Boom. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's a quick demo of the ballroom boost. Um, I I like this pedal. I like the one that I build. I mean, I I like it. It's a ballroom boost. It's it's, it's one of my least 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 expensive pedals that I'm building. I got a lot of them. Um, so I'm willing to do deals on them. I you know I I'm thinking about doing it doing a deal like i have a, a ballroom boost with a classic fuzz i'm gonna sh i'm gonna try to gra grab one of those classic fuzzes so you can hear what it sounds like because i i have the l mod fuzz which is a fuzz that's louder and then i have the classic fuzz and um so since i'm already talking about the classic fuzz let's see if i can find one without having everything in my room collapse all right, so I build the L mod fuzz and I build the classic fuzz. I already did a video on the L mod fuzz. The L mod fuzz is is a fuzz that's a lot louder and it acts kind of quirky. But the cool thing is, is you can roll down your gain and still have a big volume boost. You kind of use the extra volume range when the gain is low set, but it's a lot louder. I feel like the L mod can do everything that the classic fuzz can do. But uh, the classic fuzz is still cool. It's it's more of like you would always run both knobs all the way up with the classic fuzz. Whereas the L mod, you kind of have to put some some effort into getting in the right setting because it can go. It'll start going really squeaky high. But this is just a classic fuzz. So this is like your basic fuzz. It's basically a Dallas Arbiter clone, and they're a little weak compared to most pedals. That's a very common thing with uh, the Dallas Arbiters is compared to modern pedals, they ju they're just kind of weak sounding. Uh, but they still sound pretty cool. You know, it's, I feel like a, a pedal like this, like the classic fuzz, sounds better when you really have your, the volume on your amp turned up. So we're going to hear what this baby sounds like. We're going to do both controls all the way up. So here's our clean signal. And both knobs are all the way up. Let's hear what this classic fuzz sounds like. See how the clean sound kind of sounds a little bit weaker than than the uh, than the pedal sound when the gain's not all the way up. That's why I built the L mod. So this is tr this is as close as I can get to a silicon Dallas Arbiter, but uh, it's still cool. It's this this is I think it does sound good when it's all the way up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So I like this pedal. I I like it when I just want to um when I just want to be really dirty. I feel like that the L mod is a little bit more versatile because you can roll the gain back and it's still louder. So I'm sounding like a broken record. All right, now I know I have a couple deals on uh, the Sweetwater Gear Exchange where I have a Classic Fuzz and a Ballroom Boost in the same package. It's like 50 bucks, And uh, so you get two pedals for 50 bucks. And so let's let's uh, let's hook up the Ballroom Boost back to this Classic Fuzz. And, you know, now I would not recommend putting a Ballroom Boost after the L Mod Fuzz with the volume all the way up or... But, you know, it makes sense. And then you can, you know. So let's put the ballroom boost after this fuzz and hear what it sounds like. All right, so here's the fuzz. Now let's kick on that boost. So now let's uh, t get the gain down on the fuzz and have it still go through the boost. So this is what it would sound like with the boost. It's about the same level as the clean sound. So now we're going to turn on the boost after, right? Because I'm, I'm doing this as a package deal. You get two pedals. Turn on the boost. <laughs> to our clean sound. So a classic fuzz goes good with the ballroom boost. You know. Uh, but if you're running the ballroom boost, just, just be careful if you have any DSP effects after it. Uh, DSP, digital signal processing, like if you have like a, like a cheap reverb pedal after it, or because if, because it, because the ballroom boost does, some of them get pretty loud. So you just want to make sure that you're not clipping anything too hard if you're using digital stuff. I'm just running straight in my amp. It doesn't matter today, but if you're if you got a lot of digital stuff, you might want to be careful with how you set the volume on it. I just want to give people a warning. So those pedals sound pretty decent. I feel like they sound pretty decent. I'm I'm willing to wheel and deal. We're gonna wheel and deal these pedals. You know, and uh, maybe one day I can move to the country because my, my whole plan is that one day I'm going to be able to move out of the city and live somewhere where the property's cheap and I got privacy. That's why I'm trying to do this whole have my own business type of stuff. I'm going to I'm really been working on it and uh, hope everybody, uh, you know, uh, likes these pedals. I got some more pedals, too, that I should do, but I think I've done enough for today. I, I haven't. You know, but everybody, thanks for watching and uh, go to Sweetwater Gear Exchange because I ain't selling on reverb. I ain't selling on reverb. I ain't selling on reverb. I have to say that the quality of customers on Sweetwater is, is actually pretty good. You know, like, you know, I haven't had any problems. So I'm, I'm selling on Sweetwater Gear Exchange only exclusively because I'm mad at reverb. I'm mad at reverb. All right. I could do a whole video where I just, uh, do a poop post on them or whatever, but you know. All right, so everybody take it easy. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.